I noticed when I was looking up at my notes, I forgot to have you guys write decreasing function right there because the function is going down from left to right, decreasing. So remember that's exponential decay where this one's exponential growth. Okay, we were on part C at the bottom there. We had just finished this problem. And let's see, what did we get in the calculator? So we had six followed by a nine after the decimal. That's why we made it seven. We knew to round it to the whole number because this is in millions. So they needed a whole number of millions. And we still have to write the million people because it's not 48,000 people. It's 48,000 million people, which means you'd add a comma and six zeros if you were actually writing the number out, which would be billion, 48 billion when you added the six. Wait, is that right? So that'd be 7 million, 40, yep, yeah, so 48 billion. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this last one and then we'll switch over to the back page. So now they want to know in 2002, so what would X be for 2002? So if you can't do it in your head, you could do 2002 minus 1996. Boom, six years later, because that's four and then two more. So that means X is six, because remember everything revolves around 1996, that's year zero, so that would make this year six. So we do the same thing, nearest million again. So f of six is 76.3 times 5.012 to the sixth. So what we can do is we can move the up arrow, up arrow, and just change our four to a six. Ding, ding, ding. That's a nice shortcut, huh? So again, it's the nearest million, so that would be the whole number. So eight followed by three says keep it eight. So it'd be one, two, zero, nine, four, five, eight. Keep that right there. So four, five, eight, yep. So it'd be one, comma two zero nine comma four five eight million people so it's a million million and there is our answer Okay, let's go ahead and go to the back page. More word problems. But it's kind of nice because they're all plug and chug word problems. So really all you're doing is taking the formula they give you and plugging it into the calculator. So it's pretty easy stuff as long as you know how to use your calculator, that is. Okay, so this is about an antibiotic, and this is kind of an interesting thing. They give all the places they found this information, so I think these are like real problem jokes. They're like from the medical journal and blah, 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 when you read through the book. So it's kind of interesting to see how long um, a bacteria stays in your body even after the antibiotic has been introduced. So... Once you start taking antibiotics, the number of bacteria decreases exponentially. For example, beginning with 1 million bacteria, the amount present, so here's the beginning, 1 million, the amount present, T days, so see the T there, from the time streptomycin is introduced is given by this function. Streptomycin is a type of antibiotic. So this one says round to the nearest thousand. So anytime there's rounding, you should either write it on your paper or underline it. Determine how many bacteria are present. So this is telling me put five in everywhere I see a T. So A of five 
is 1 million was a starting number of bacteria. <clears throat> Excuse me. Times 2 to the negative 5 over 20. And remember how I told you whenever it's a fractional exponent or a negative exponent, it needs to be in parentheses? Well, this is both. It's a fraction and it's a negative, so make sure you put it in parentheses when you type it in your calculator. Let's go ahead and write all three of these out. Then we can just do calculator, calculator, calculator. So what are we going to make T on this one? Because T is days. So this one needs to be 7, right? So T equals 7. So write out that equation again, but with 7. We won't have to type it again on the calculator. That's a nice thing. And you may want to put that as a reminder because I notice a lot of students say, oh, I multiply instead of did an exponent. That'll remind you that that's an exponent, so you have to use the exponent key. So this one will be negative 7 over 20. And then last but not least, 3 weeks would be 21 days. So T is 21. So a amount after 21 days you would think would be just like very little. You're going to be surprised by this answer. So there was a million. 2 carrot. Now it's going to be negative 21 over 20. Okay, so now we have them all ready and then let's put our little squigglies because it told us to round. And we're rounding to the nearest thousand. So not thousandths, no th, nearest thousand. So move this up. So we're going to have 1,000,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. And then we do parentheses 2, close the parentheses. Then we do the caret key. Uh, let's see if we can try and get this in the same page. Okay, yeah, we can. And then we do the caret key. And then we do parentheses. And then we do negative 5 divided by 20. Then close the parentheses to let the calculator know that's the end of your exponent. So to the nearest thousand. So this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So 0 followed by an 8 says make it 1, right? So it would be 841,000. So everybody following me on that, it said nearest thousand, so ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, zero followed by an eight says make it one. And then everything after it becomes zero. So 841,000 what? what? What is it? Bacteria. So this is why they tell you don't stop taking your antibiotics. Do the full thing. Look how many are left. Almost a million still after five days. So now you know why they say to take it 14 days because it starts really slow going down and then it goes fast. Okay, so now that we have it typed in the calculator, for this one all we have to do is hit the up arrow and make the 5 into a 7. So negative, so that 5 turns into a 7, then hit enter. So thousands, ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, four, followed by a 5 turns into 5. So that would be 785,000. So it didn't go down much in two days, right? ones, tens, hundreds, thousand. We say does it stay four or become five? Since it's followed by a five it becomes five and then everything else becomes a zero. 
Okay, now let's look and see how much after 21 days. So I'm going to do two and then I'm going to hit second insert so I can put my one in and then it should be divided by 20. There it is. Uh oh, accidentally hit something there. Delete. Okay, equals. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, two followed by a nine says three, so 483,000. So look at after three weeks, almost half the bacteria is still left. Isn't that crazy? Because 500,000 would be half. So that's almost half of it still left after three weeks. So 483,000 bacteria. Okay, next, and there's a ton of radioactive decay and carbon dating in the next class. So you're going to see this a lot. So the amount of radioactive material at time t days is given by this formula. So the amount a, a sub zero, see how they're both a's? This is the amount after five days, after 10 days, after 20 days. A sub zero stands for the original amount. So the original amount present was a sub zero after so many days. This is the new amount a. And they're labeled differently because they don't stand for the same numbers because that's going to be going down because of the decay. Um, t at time t equals zero. So the original amount present initially. And h is the material's half-life. So I think we have everything down. t is days, h is half-life. And A sub O is the original amount, A is the new amount. So the half-life, and this is the name of the chemical, so it doesn't have anything to do with what you're plugging in, is 7.5 days. So does everybody agree that's H? Half-life. 5 grams are present initially. So 5 grams, that's going to be your A sub O, your original amount. How many grams are present 60 days later? So that would be my T is days, T. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth of a gram. Okay, so let's write the formula and then we'll plug in A sub O. Two, let's put our carrot in to remind us, negative t over h. And that should be in parentheses since it is a fraction. Okay, so a equals a sub o, base is 2, and my exponent is negative t over h. So let's fill in. So the original amount, a sub o, is 5 times 2 carrot t is 60 so it'd be negative 60 over h which is 17.5 and you definitely don't want to use a fraction bar on this because if you use a fraction bar it's going to give you an error so make sure you use a division sign so we type in 5 parentheses 2 parentheses carrot and then parentheses negative 60 divided by 17.5 close your parentheses hit enter and it says nearest hundredth so six followed by a four says leave it six so it'd be approximately 0.46 grams. So that's how much is left after 60 days. 
Okay, that's it for 8.3. Nice short little section.